Uh, we just ran our lips and it works. Um, we just did a test at a 30%. There's a lot of friction in the system, but we know where it's coming from, so we're gonna take care of that real quick. Um, and then pretty soon here, all we need to do is make sure that this tether is uh, taken care of and managed, and then we should be uh, doing just testing and tuning. So John, do you have any helpful tips about electrical? Electrical stuff? Um, stay organized. Um, you know, just staying a little bit organized with your wiring can save you a ton of trouble. Right now the robot's not a good example of that, but that's precisely what I'm doing right now is organizing things. Another tip that I have that's personal, not everyone may agree with it, but I like to solder all of my high power connectors. Uh, to like, like whenever you have crimp connectors, I always like to solder them because I've had too many problems with breaking. And when you solder them, they will you'll probably break the wire before you break the crimp connection. So the robot, for the most part, is pretty done. We've done quite a bit on the intake since this morning. Uh, mostly it is the addition of these horns and the movement of the motors and the wheels here. Um, Maxim is doing quite a bit to make sure that the robot can be up and running for tomorrow for the week negative six events. Um, we're hoping um, that we can show off the game very well tomorrow um, so teams can see what it is that or how it is that the game will be played. 